Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset Microsoft Word to default settings. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start off by opening up the search menu and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import back in from the backup, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. And now go down to office and go ahead and locate that. I went a little too far. So go ahead and double click on office here. And now there should be a higher version number. So it's a 16 in my case. I believe that means it's 2021 version. So this 8.0, you can ignore that. So I'm going to double click on the 16. If you see a 15 or 14, I believe this just pertains to what version of Microsoft Office it is. Anyway, go ahead and double click on it. And you want to locate the Word folder. And now you want to delete the data folder. So right click on it and select delete. Select yes if you receive a little prompt. And then do the same for the options folder. Right click on it and then delete that one as well. Select yes. And now you will need to close out of here. And then restart your computer. And now if we attempt to open up Word, it should still work fine, just we reset it basically. So pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.